Hey, this is Terrell from theskin.net, and today we're going to talk about how to make proportional cosplays, how to make the measurements, how to get your models out of the games. Um, this is going to be based off of games that are in the Unreal Engine, um, but I mean, most of the techniques you can apply towards other ones. Uh, there's just some specialized things that we're going to do here that are for Unreal Engine based games, which is a lot of them. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to just show you really quick is. Uh, so the one that we're going to be working on is Smite, and uh, the particular god that we're going to be focusing on is Nemesis, because that's actually our next cosplay. Uh, what we notice with a lot of the cosplay for Nemesis is that uh, there's just really no proportionality at all. I mean, obviously this middle one just put on underwear and did whatever. I don't think they really took it too seriously. But this is actually a really good cosplay, except for... The sword is just not proportionally right at all. As you can see from the right here, this is actually Nemesis in game, and the sword is in the ground a little bit, so you have to add on an extra like six, seven inches there. Um, but it's as tall, if not taller, than Nemesis, and uh, I mean that's obviously maybe about half the length, even if she's really short. Um, that's about half the length. So, uh, and this is something that spans all different uh, cosplays. A lot of people just the proportionality is. Is strange. A lot of the Athena uh, Aspis shields that we were seeing being built for that cosplay uh, from Borderlands, the pre-sequel, the Aspis would be like completely large or it would be like this little CD-ROM that they stuck on their disc. And it's just because I don't think a lot of people know how to actually like extract the measurements and do it a little bit more scientifically instead of just uh, kind of guessing. I guess more mathematically, not scientifically. All right, either way, but we're going to show you today how to do it, okay? So don't need this. First thing you're going to want is obviously you're going to want to download the game. So we already have Smite so no bigger deal on that. Uh, second thing if it's an Unreal based game like this uh, just go and type into Google Gildor uh, U model and that will bring up this. It's a free program uh, UE viewer. Uh, you can also see it's gildor.org uh, and I'll have the link down in the uh, uh, description below. Um, and this is a free program that basically just extracts models from uh, Unreal Engine games. And some of them will be a little bit of quirks, but either way, you should be able to grab at least the model out of it, okay? So after you get this downloaded, and you already have the game downloaded, hopefully, uh, we'll go and we will open up UModel. So it's UE Viewer, U Model, okay? And then uh, you get this little screen up here, U Model Startup Options. Okay, generally for most of these, you're going to want to leave these uh, all checked. Particular games, you might have to like uncheck static meshes. I know for Borderlands Pre Sequel, you have to take uh, static meshes off if you want to load up anything. Either way, uh, your file path here, you need to send it to wherever your game is. So in this particular instance, uh, Smite is in the 32-bit program file, so x86 program files. Uh, go down to where you see Hi-Rez Studios, Hi-Rez Games, Smite, Battle Game, and then Cooked PC. And in here, there's a bunch of stuff that basically makes up Smite. Um, in our particular case, we're going to want characters. Um, so you can go all the way down to Gods. I'm just going to go to Characters. Press OK, that'll put that uh, path in there, and then press OK, and then you get everything, all of the gods and their different skins and texture files and animation files and everything like that. Um, so right now we're focusing on Nemesis, so I'm just going to type in the filter option up here, uh, Nemesis, or Nem, and that'll bring up all of our Nemesis skins and everything like that. Uh, in this particular one, we just want the model, so we're going to go for just the basic Nemesis, God Nemesis UPK. Double click on that, and that'll load it up. And then we get these funny little squares right here. But what we'll do is we can go up here and uh, navigate and include meshes, and this will pretty much just bring you to the mesh, and there shouldn't be anything else there. All right, so this is your mesh. Okay, that was navigate and then include meshes. So this is our mesh. Um, you can see it's a little weird because it has to have the different skins. None of the textures are applied to it. Um, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to actually export this um, skeleton mesh and then load it in another program so we can manipulate it a little bit and then use it in another program to do all the measurements. Okay? All these programs are free, by the way, um, and we'll have them all linked below. 
So this particular one we're still in is a U model. Um, if you can't remember how to do it, you just press H and that'll bring up all of your help options. And the one that we want to use is this Control X export objects. So we do Control X um, and that'll export it to the U model folder. The next thing we're going to do is open up Blender. Blender is also a free program online. Uh, just delete this cube because I don't like him. And we're going to go over here to File, Import, and Skeletal, Skeleton Mesh PSKs. Okay. Now we're going to navigate over to where I have U Model, which is in my D drive in the skim, in UE Viewer. And then as soon as you get into UE Viewer, you'll see uh, your either screenshots you took, which is another option you can find in there, or your U-Model exports. So I exported a few different ones already, but the one that we're focusing on is Nemesis. So we'll go over to Nemesis, open up the Skeletal Mesh 3, and then there's our Skeletal Mesh for Nemesis.psk. Import that, and now we have Nemesis in here. Now the thing that we are focusing on is the sword. Um, so the first thing we want to do is isolate the sword from Nemesis. We want to at least keep the Nemesis like body model here um, to use for scaling and then we'll want to grab the sword out as well. So what we'll do is we'll go to edit mode. Right now we're actually on the um, we're on the pose model so we're going to actually click if you go over here and go over into uh, this, this is for a mesh. Um, these are all for the uh, posing and basically doing animation and everything like that, um, which we don't need to do. Um, we're going to go over to the mesh, which is this like orange triangle thing. Click on that and click edit, and that'll bring up this crazy looking thing. It basically shows you all the various edges and faces that are on the model. Just press A and that'll deselect everything. And what we want to do is we want to take the sword. So we go over the sword and just press L and that will grab every linked vertice. Basically this just means that any vertice that is connected will be grabbed. And if the people that made the game are nice, uh, they separated all of their objects in here so you can grab them separately. Uh, it's rare that you'll find that they're all connected and linked. Either way, we're going to move our sword off to the side uh, by using the transformation uh, tool uh, which you'll see these little arrows then it's obviously a little bit cockeyed so we're going to put on the rotation tool I'm going to use the snap to grid which is this little magnet down here and I'm going to spin it until I think it's flat and that looks flattish to me okay and then I'm going to try to put it so it's up in the same plane as nemesis which uh, looks pretty good right there then I'm going to go back to, to my uh, transformation and put it in the same plane with Nemesis like this and try to maybe make them around the same height too. Um, and then you can get, then you have them both right next to each other. Now something else is I just want to get rid of this little pot here that's kind of in the way. Uh, I'm just going to use that L button like I was telling you about earlier. Uh, to just grab all the pieces of it and then I'll press X and delete the vertices and now they're gone okay so now we have them we're gonna try to uh, flatten out our view okay so now that you have them lined up you want to go back to object mode just because it makes it look a little bit prettier and you can smooth it if you want to do your measurements that way that's just over here in the uh, once you go to object mode, you'll see these pop back up and it's smooth or flat. I prefer to do flat. I just figure that's more um, the original model. And you can just do a print screen. Okay. Now you'll open up paint and just crop. Select this, crop. And then we will save it as front view and then we can go back here and if we want the depth of the sword so to get like how thick this top piece is compared to like the middle piece and the bottom and how far these wings go out uh, we'll need to put them in the same plane on the side so what I'll do is I'm going to go to edit mode 
and I'm going to again go over one of the vertices and press L and that'll grab all linked vertices to that vertice and then I'm just going to push the sword into the same plane as Nemesis here on the side and should be good alright and then I'm going to look at it from a side view like this go back to my object mode try to line up my viewport so it's pretty much the same and again I'll print screen go into paint paste it select everything I want do, do, do. crop save as side view alright now that I have my two pictures already picked out now we're going to basically go and measure these now for the measurement part uh, we're going to use a program called image J this is again free uh, you should just be able to go to Google search image J it's going to be this one by the NIH it is used for research um, but it's a free program still MSJ download and download I just would download the bundled with 64 Java if you're on 64 bit if not do 32 bit and uh, just do it that way so it works independently um, but your file means you're allowed to download it without Java after you get MHJ, um, go and open it up. And it looks like this. So with ImageJ, we'll go to where we saved the photos. Open this guy up. And you'll probably want to just work with one photo at a time and have a scaling factor, which would be Nemesis in this particular case, um, unless you somehow were able to or took the time to keep Nemesis in the same like distance from your camera. If her distance from the camera is the same, then you can actually use global scaling on this. But either way, first thing you want to do is just measure your Nemesis. So you want to kind of take off a little bit for armor. She's wearing heels, so we'll go around here and we're going to click control M or measure this will bring this up and basically length is telling us how many pixels long it is now what we want to do is go to set scale and then known distance we want to put in how uh, tall the person is that's going to be cosplaying this character so we can make it proportional the particular person that we're using is um, five foot ten so you need to put this in straight inches uh, so if you want to know how to do that uh, for the five of the five foot ten uh, just do five times twelve okay and then plus your ten so we're at seventy inches so in our known distance we know that she's seventy inches tall and then we go to units of length and we're going to type an inch okay so now it's telling us that every six point six two nine pixels is an inch um, if you do have your pictures all scaled and you want to open them all at the same time and make sure that and just use this scale across all of them you can check this global box I didn't make sure that uh, Nemesis was the same distance away from the camera in each one so I'm not going to do global so I got my global scale and now if you go and you measure Nemesis again and you press measure you should have somewhere close to their height so 69.5 about half an inch off you know that, that give or take a half an inch isn't too bad um, either way that tells us how big she is we'll go over here and we'll measure the sword now and we're looking at about 76 inches so that's an additional uh, six inches so half a foot taller than nemesis um, so that's I mean that's a pretty long sword we're looking at about six foot four uh, there long uh, we can also then use this to measure how far across it is so like from those two peaks measure we're about 18 inches you know from this wing to there uh, we got you know a little more than two feet uh, and this is basically how you can scale and find out how big each part is so you don't have to guess at how big you should make it basically these little measurement links that are coming up right here 
uh, at the end are telling you how many inches it is now. This first one is pixels. Everything after we set the scale is in how many inches it is. And then you can basically just put these in an Excel spreadsheet so you're ready for crafting. Also one other f feature it can do is it has this angle tool that's right next to the line. Um, in case you wanted to know the angle of something, uh, you can just draw the angle across it by clicking then clicking again on wherever the angle is and then clicking somewhere else and then again just you press your measure button and boom it'll tell you that this is a 63 degree angle on the tip of the sword there just in case you wanted to use the angles for any particular uh, piece of your cosplay um, and then if you wanted to do this on the side just go to open open up your side view and then you got this I would then again reset because we didn't do global and I don't have Nemesis in the same plane. We're going to reset our scale measure as you can see. It doesn't in the same measure window, but this is still 568. Uh, this is measuring pixels. So also you can see that our original pixels was Nemesis was 464 pixels tall. Now she's 568, so obviously I wasn't really close and getting in the same plane. So good thing we didn't set the scale globally. So we're going to set the scale again. Again, she is 70 inches tall, the particular cosplayer we are making Nemesis for. Um, we're going to set units of length to inch, and then now we're at 8.117 pixels per inch. So now if we measure the sword again, hopefully it'll be somewhere close to our first measurement. Yeah, pretty much the same thing, you know, 75.6, so they're about half an inch off from each other. And now you can measure how you know far apart these little wings are, um, everything like that. And that's how you can find your scale. You can do the exact same thing for uh, all of the gauntlet pieces, the uh, wings, and anything that you need to do on Nemesis. This way you can set your scale based on how tall your cosplayer is. Very easy, as long as you can just keep the model of the actual character in frame with whatever you're trying to measure. You can measure everything and make it proportional, and then you don't have to guess on any of the lengths and uh, distances. So, that is our tutorial on how to make a proportional cosplay and not have to do all the guesswork and, you know, mathematically figure it out. Uh, again, this is the skim.net, and I'm Terrell. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Uh, subscribe to our channel to get all the rest of our cosplay tutorials and see all of our cosplay stuff and vlogs. You can also visit the skim.net to see all of our finished cosplays and tutorials there. Um, and just to chat with us. Uh, we love chatting, so leave a comment and we'll get back to you really, really quick. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Have a good one.